Good morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So didn't do much trading yesterday, didn't have time really, um, only sat down at around uh, 6 o'clock last night and uh, managed to get one small little trade in at that time and that was pretty much it. So I suppose that's pretty typical for somebody that would be working. Um, some days you're not going to have the time to do it and you just need to be patient. Anyway, um, DAX I'm still of the opinion to stay out of the DAX, not really watching what's going on here at the moment on a daily basis, um, only really looking at it during the reviews. Now you can see we've got a level here, and I just want to see if this is a weekly level. Uh, not really. Oh, it was somewhere in the past. Yeah, I'd feel more comfortable with that level there. And this was tagged, and then another weekly level there. Okay, so this gap closed. We did kind of have an, a nothing day after the big uh, big Monday, and we do have a little gap to the downside still as well. So we are rolling sort of at the moment. If you look at the alligator, it's starting to roll. Yeah, and what we've seen here last month is very typical of the way the alligator indicates what's happening with price action. So you can see a strong trend pointing straight up and it doesn't like turn immediately and, and fall to the bottom. Okay, especially when you've got a long trend like this, it gradually rolls over. And I mean there's lots of there's lots of discussions around it, you know, we have a rounding top and things like that. And you know technically speaking uh, you've got a, a rounding top here. You can see that. Um, head and shoulders, rounding tops, you know, those are all signs that the market's rolling over. And that's exactly what it looks like. But this inside bar here, off the level, um, just puts a bit of doubt into my head. Okay, when we start looking at the three hour price action, um, low, lower low, low, higher low, diversions, and uh, Bet you if I look at the Bollinger Bands on this, you'll see a potential Bollinger W forming. There it is. The trade you're looking for is a three hour break and close above 13.088. That would trigger your long. Okay. Um, and the long is pretty much the height of the W bottom. Okay. And that puts you right back into the range okay so and it's off well not off it's in and around the 200 EMA so if this level breaks this level breaks of 13089 and you get a three hour close above it that would validate it okay um, if we look at the hour I just want to see if we've got diversions on the hour as well uh, yes, we do. So we've got diversions on the hour here as well. So same applies here. And we've got sort of a gradual move to the upside. And we'll have a look at the Ichimoku just now. That may actually give you a better signal. Now that, that's typically, you, know, you see a massive move like this and you think, well, that's it. This market's moving to the downside and you need to start scaling in your shorts and you get burnt. Uh, and the only reason for that is that you're, you haven't had confirmation of a trend change yet. And that's what you're looking for. Okay. Um, this at the moment I'm a bit hesitant to jump in on this at the moment but uh, let's just see what's going on at the moment give me a sec guys this needs to get investing.com up and DAX is 011 Point eleven down. Um, US futures is flat. Uh, oil, oil, oil is up half percent. Hang Seng is flat. Um, Euro USD one ten. Nothing really happening there. So yeah, there's nothing really that stands out on the market at the moment. But anyway, so I have a feeling. You know, this was driven. This is all news. You know, this is just Trump want to do, start trade wars with every country on the planet at the moment. So, you know, I have a feeling, I have a sneaky suspicion that this double, this W bottom is going to play out. 
and we're going to have a nice pullback back into the range and just continue in this range. So for me, I'd be looking for longs on this at the moment, um, but very tight stops, very, very tight stops. Just bear in mind we've got sort of a little gap there which we've closed. Uh, you can see it's not going to be smooth sailing by the looks of things, but if we do get above this 13.089, that is definitely the area to, to pay attention to. Now, currently, those are my two fractals there. So this fractal break should have triggered a, a long with a stop below this fractal here. Okay. Um, let's just get across to the Ichimoku. So bullish, bullish, bullish. Everything is bullish here for the 12 minutes. Uh, and we've broken the cloud, test the cloud, and broken away. So that's fairly bullish. That's bullish. That's bullish. This is not bullish. So getting through this level, 13089, 13088, sorry, so it should be 13091. So 13090, getting through that level is not going to be easy. If you look at the size of the cloud here, that just indicates a lot of resistance. And if we look at the one hour, bearish, 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 but ranging. Okay, and we've also got some structure forming here on the oscillator. So this could, if it doesn't break through here, it could just turn back the downside and form sort of a channel. And then what I'd be looking for is a break to the downside to get this second move down. And on the four hour, absolutely nothing. But if we just put that double top in, we'll see where that takes us. Uh, that takes us a break of the cloud to the upside. Let's just leave it in for the daily. And the daily, we've broken through Kijunson, and it looks like we're testing the underside of Kijunson. Okay, and it also, I suppose the other thing we need to take cognizance of is we have had a close below 13.049. Okay, so let's just summarize this quickly so we have a potential move to the upside but it's going to be dictated to by a 13091 break so you're looking for an hour break and close above that level before even considering getting in on that okay the next level that you need to pay attention to is this previous swing low and this it's on the daily it's a daily fractional break of that area there so that implies, working with my rounding top, uh, let's just get rid of that one completely for now. That implies that I have a potential double top, which is going to come and visit this head and shoulders Okay, there's, um, there's my shoulder, there's my head, there's my shoulder, and the neckline is pretty much in this area here of 12.654, and that's the bottom of the cloud as well on the daily. So that basically, that structure there is indicating a potential move to the downside. So if we now just come to the hour, And pay attention to this. So there's, there's two there's two signals here. If you're picking up what I'm giving you, the first one is a a lower time frame one, which is this one here, which is a W bottom, which would pull me back up to this area here. Okay. Um, then the second one, because we've got a daily close below this daily level here of thirteen zero four six, validates a double top okay so my stop area for this double top should be around here which is 13348 so from where we are now that's a bit rich three, 340 points so it's a little bit rich for me uh, looking at all my oscillators on the hour here it's also telling me that 
this little section here could be a trap. Uh, I'm just going to change to my stochastics. What I'm looking for is a grouping of my stochastics. And it does half arm getting a grouping, 12 minutes getting a grouping. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking for an entry short. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, and even I do have a lot of things going on at the moment, but uh, I'm looking for a short, whether it's off this level or higher up. Okay, so let's watch these levels. Uh, this area looks like a fairly good area, 13165. And um, what I'm basically doing is playing this, um, this break of the daily level here. that one in there okay so this area here of 13053 that's the area we're waiting for and if I just take it one step down take your fractional that's a fractional I'm looking to validate a break to the downside today so that is 13022 looking for a close 12 minute close below that a stop will be above the high here, um, so that's a nice close 55 points. Uh, you'll probably even extend it to 100 points above this area here. But I think that's what I'm looking for. I know we've had a day of consolidation here, but I strongly suspect with a close on the daily like that, below 13.044, and we come up and we sort of close on it, which is above it, I think. And we've got a crossover. There's a whole lot of things here which are indicating this is rolling. Got a rounding top. So uh, I think the confirmation, we need the confirmation. I don't have the confirmation yet. But the confirmation may actually come with this break here. Okay. Anyway, guys, so that's my view at the moment. I'm definitely looking um, for a short entry, but again, I just want a bit of a rally. Or a bit of move up before I start looking at that. Okay, here we go. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.